High-speed metros are a relatively new concept being explored in major cities such as Guangzhou and Delhi. These metros take advantage of operating directly on their own direct corridors between major centers while operating at higher top speeds owing to larger stop spacing. In October of 2024, I managed to visit one such line that was recently opened in South Korea, which is the Great Train Express or GTX for short. The GTX is a high-speed metro that operates at speeds of up to 180 kilometers an hour or 111 miles per hour. The initial segment of the GTX between Suso and Dongtan cost $3.8 billion to build in 2016. In this week's video, we will be taking a spin from the southern terminal at Dongtan to Suso, the northern endpoint of the country's SRT private high-speed railway line. This trip will take around 20 minutes, with around 10 kilometers or 6.5 miles between the four stations, and a total distance of 32 kilometers or around 20 miles. Dongtan is one of a few planned cities outside of Seoul. The visuals of these cities can be described as particularly modern and uniform. In fact, the area around the station and along Dongtan Bek Road is a summary of the entire area. The two-tiered Lotte department store provides a visual contrast against the box-shaped high-rise apartment buildings. And these department stores are massive. Compared to a shopping mall, the different vendors such as Adidas and Nike do not operate independent of each other. Rather, they have space set aside on each floor and a few department store workers are assigned to take care of each brand. So for my North American viewers, think of Hudson's Bay or Nordstrom but five times as large and with an outdoor plaza and movie theater to boot. For this reason, Dongtan Station actually has two entrances, the one along the main road, as well as from inside the department store. Now the concourse is actually quite deep at the 5th basement level, and this is where the ticket gates are located for both the SRT and the GTX. From Dongtan, the SRT Super Rapid Train bullet trains head to either Mokpo or Busan, splitting from Osong around 30 minutes to the south. On that note, the SRT and this section of the GTX operate on shared tracks inside the Yohyeon Tunnel. The tunnel is the fourth longest railway tunnel in the world. SRT trains are limited to 240 kilometers an hour or 150 miles an hour in this section because of this and because most of their services call at Dongtan heading south. Back to our GTX, trains operate at 3 services per hour at this time of day, and it just so happened that the train was already at the platform. At 4.06 in the afternoon, it was a bit costly to wait another 27 minutes until the next departure. But at last, we get on board and the train leaves right on the dot on this quiet Saturday afternoon. Now there's virtually nothing to see outside, so let's do our car tour. Trains are 8 cars long, with 3 single sliding doors on each side. Seats are in a hard plastic, though with a small detail with the names of each of the first few stations imprinted into the seats. Seats near the door and the end sections are set aside for those with mobility impairments. Riders can move between each car by pressing this button to open up the doors between the carriages. And since this is a metro, there are no onboard washrooms. Rather, washrooms are available at each station. The onboard screen is my favorite part of the inside. Pay attention to the top left of the screen, as that's pretty much the only thing to look at. Not many trains I've taken actually have an onboard speedometer. Besides, it's kind of hard to tell if you're going that fast in a tunnel. The trains are built by local manufacturer Hyundai Rotem. A total of 28 car train sets were delivered, with six of these being allocated to the southern section of Line A. More on this after we depart our next station. The next station is Kusum, Kusum Station. The doors are on your left. You can transfer to the Seoul Landing Line. Gusong is an infill station on the first phase of the GTX-A. From this point on, we take on the same catchment area as the existing Swing Bundang line. Right now, there is virtually nothing in the surrounding area other than a few buses. That said, the entire area around the provincial capital of Suwon, including the southern reaches of the GTX-A, is a massive driver for industry nationwide, most notably with the headquarters of Samsung being located 15 minutes to the west by way of the Swin Bundang line. Therefore, one could wonder what that could possibly do to real estate prices along the GTX-A. Gusong was where I first got onto the GTX. The stations are very deep into the ground, at an average of 40 meters or 100 130 feet deep, and that requires these long escalators and incline elevators to get to track level. Take a listen to an SRT train rocketing by at 240 kilometers an hour. A 
Announced in 2017, amounting challenges in construction led to the current situation. The current section opened just six months before recording on the 30th of March 2024. Gusong, our previous station, opened three months later on the 29th of June. Now, the line is actually meant to go as far as Unjong, which is beyond the northwest reaches of the Seoul metropolitan area. In fact, that section opened on the 28th of December, a few weeks before this video went live. Lastly, the main section that brings everything together between Seoul and Suso is expected to go live in 2026. The next line undergoing construction is Line B, which will go from Songdo in Incheon to Seoul Station and Masok to the east. The third line is Line C, which is also under construction and will go from Suwon straight north to Dokjong via Chongyangyi Station. Planning documents also reveal that lines go up to letter H. We don't get a chance to cover Songnam. The station provides a transfer to the Gyeonggang line, which heads east as far as Yeoju, a 55 km or 35 mile journey. Songnam is a planned city located around 17 minutes north of our starting point and is the birthplace of actress and rapper Kim Taehyun. Does anyone see where I got the pronunciation for Hyundai yet? I'm Taehyun to know. <laughs> We are now on our way to Suso, so let's do our final review. The Dongtan to Suso section of the GTX marks the beginning of higher speed commuter rail service in the Seoul metro area. The trains are fast and the stations are quite clean. However, for a higher speed metro, I personally would like to see padded seats at the bare minimum. Now you may notice that the trains are empty, and the reason I think is actually quite clear. Between Dongtan and Suso, there are many ways to get around. The Suin Bundang line simply does a better job at providing coverage within Songnam and along the Gyeongbu Expressway corridor as a whole. That said, a trip between Gusong and Suso takes more than twice as long on the Suin Bundang line compared to the GTX. In contrast, the northern section which opened in December 2024 is expected to draw in more riders than its southern counterpart. While a faster rail service is absent in that part of Seoul, the route from Unjong Central roughly follows the slower Gyeonggui Junggang line. At the next and final stop, we will find that beyond Suso, people would rather continue north and west to Wangsimni and even to Seoul Station. In fact, the main district of Gangnam is only 20 minutes further west on the Suin Bundang line. Not to mention, the deep underground stations themselves are kind of a deterrent for riders when the local service does the job just fine. I personally can't wait for the line to be completed. However, the keystone connection between the existing phases will not be completed for another couple years. But for now, the first phase of the GTX-A only provides a level of redundancy along the Gyeongbu Expressway corridor. Altogether, the GTX trip cost around 4,500 won, which is a bit more than half the cost to cover the same stations on the faster SRT bullet train. At last, we reach Suso Station, which is the operating hub of South Korea's private high-speed rail network. At this point, the GTX tracks have split from the high-speed rail. In order to access the SRT platforms, head to the exit opposite the train's arrival. On screen now is the north exit, where the Suin Bundang and Line 3 routes converge. The SRT building is easy to spot turning past the E-Mart discount store. It's quite easy to mistake this modern marvel for a sports stadium. The competitor to the more popular KTX opened its network and main terminal in December 2016. The main station concourse is very futuristic on the inside, with a respectable selection of food choices. Back on the conventional lines, the Suin Bungdang line and line 3 provide service further into Gangnam and eventually central Seoul. As for me, I decided to head back to my hotel and rest up and head to Hongdae for the night. And thus brings us to the end of this video. Now I will attempt to visit the northern section of the GTX in fall 2025. If you liked this video, please like, comment, and consider subscribing for more Japanese and Korean railway content on this channel. Kamsamida, thank you for watching.